Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Old Skies. This is a brand new demo for an upcoming point and click adventure game by Wadget Eye Games. Now if you've been around the channel for a little while you know I'm a huge fan of Wadget Eye Games and everything that they do. I'm actually doing a Patreon exclusive playthrough of all of the Blackwell series at the moment so if you're interested in that head over to uh, patreon.com slash Tyrion Shepherd uh, and you can watch me play through those. But back to the topic at hand this is brand new it's got time travel in it the art style looks fantastic i've heard unbelievable things about this from people who've played it uh so i figured i'd give it a go myself on the channel and hopefully get you guys involved in playing it for yourself as well it's available at the moment during steam next fest let's go with new game i'm very very excited for this one sally beaumont's providing some voice acting for it as well um the art style just looks brilliant look at this Nozze, you read? Loud and clear. You made it in one piece? All bits present and accounted for. Rough spot for a landing point, though. Well, it's isolated, open to the sky, and close to the client's desired goal. As far as the brass are concerned, it's perfect. Speaking of, I'm about to send him through. You'd better get clear. Uh -oh. Righto. <laughs> <laughs> what an entrance. Time for successful. I see him. How is he? <clears throat> He's fine. You'd better go check on him. He's not dead, so I guess that's a start. A very thick and very sturdy wooden door. I like that it gives descriptions of what you're looking at without actually having to click on it. Here's the inventory. We've got, um... Oh, your suit can print out currency from any era. That's probably quite cool. An Abbott Tech multi-tool turns into a screwdriver, a lockpick, a flashlight, and more. A toolkit's worth of devices in one handy utensil. Pretty cool. Your client, Joe Anderson, he paid a lot of money for a trip into the past. It's your job to make sure he gets his money's worth. Dr. Anderson? <sighs> that was something. <laughs> oh, you're a fear. Is that right? That I am. Welcome to 2024. 2024. So we know where we are. So, this is real. I'm really here. That you are. Love the music. You know this place. It's the old Seagram Center, right? Or should I say that it will be the new Seagram Center? If you like. Whatever helps you make sense of it. <laughs> now go local, and we'll be on our way. Oh, cool! Oh, oh, yeah. I've been waiting for this. There we go. Perfect. Now let's go. The silver flare isn't far. I love that, it just like, Dr. Anderson, puts us in the right clothes. I need to take point. It's for your own protection. Really? But I lived here. You didn't. I have been fully briefed. I know the way. Okay, I get it. Don't mess with the designated driver and all. After you, Agent Quinn. Alright, well. If there's anything in the historical record about this Mr. Clive, it has been long lost. Well, so yeah, we get money that sort of updates like our clothes do, I suppose. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that there's like a little device that just puts us in the appropriate clothing for the era. Well, blast it. Is there a problem? Nothing we can't handle. Agents like myself are equipped with a multi-tool for just this reason. <laughs> Is that right? Yes. Is there something wrong? Oh, no, no, no problem at all. So... The multi tool. Do we just click it and? Yeah, we do. It's not. It's not click and drag. It's just click oh, and click. Blast it. Got everything under control. Of course. Yes. Just need to touch base with my handler. Won't be a tick. Uh, click the phone on the menu bar to call Nozo. Pretty cool. Uh, there we go. So there's another mechanic here that we haven't unlocked Nozo. yet. Nozo. Hi, Pia. By the way, how's that new sub vocalization module working? Tickles the larynx a bit, but I'm getting used to it. Good. That means it's working. Anyway, what's up? Uh, there's no... Oh, cool. Dialogue options are here. There's no keyhole about sub -vocal... Let's ask about the sub first. I admit, it is very strange talking like this. Oh? You know, speaking with you without moving my lips or making any sound. I get it. But you can't deny it's useful. Besides, the brass insists. Well, I insist on a softer landing point <laughs> next time. That's fine. As long as you do it sub vocal. Ah. All right. Yeah, I like. So, if you're new to the channel, I like clicking on all of the dialogue options rather than just going straight to what the obvious choice is to progress the game. I like looking around, immersing myself in the world, all the characters, things like that. So, slower pace than some YouTubers who sort of fly through games, but 
I'm more into taking my time and exploring. So here we go. There's no keyhole. There's no keyhole on this door. There isn't? No. Oh, must be padlocked from the outside. Didn't they think to check that before choosing this landing point? <laughs> do they ever? <sighs> Don't worry. I'll figure this out. They always do. Alright, well, stand by. Stand by, Nozo. I'll be here. So, can we, like, kick There's it down? No lock to use the multi -tool on. Hey, clean the press. Not me. Alright, let's see what else we've got then. So, is there anything we can, like, climb up? A primitive barricade device, now useless. Okay, let's have a look at this. Okay, we can't actually do anything with that. Let's see, is there anywhere we can go here? Uh, this looks like it could maybe be a ladder, but I don't think it is. Dr. Anderson? Let's talk to Anderson. What's up? Uh, you sure you're alright? Are you sure you're alright? Just hungry. Let's get going. Fine. Uh, about his clothing? So, that clothing you're wearing... Pretty perfect, huh? Figured I should blend in. Blend in? I look like just another student, right? Yeah. Yes, you look like any other student from this time period. <laughs> Lady, I was joking. I know what I look like, but trust me, nobody around here cares. That's New York in the 20s for you. <laughs> I just wanted to indulge. That's okay, right? That is sure. why we are here. Exactly. See, I've seen from the trailer as well that I've, I've watched the trailer for this before this demo came out. There's lots of different time periods and things, so it's, it's a really cool set of places that we're going to be visiting in the full game, I think. So we seem to be stuck. So, this is a bit awkward. Can't get the door open? I'm afraid not. We try to plan for everything, but... No battle plan survives first contact with the enemy, huh? <sighs> Something like that. Well, look, I think I can give you a boost over. You know, if you want. You'll need to open the door from the outside to get me out, but you can manage that, right? Sure. Uh, yeah, fine. All right. Nothing for it. Boost me over. Man, does this take me back? <laughs> I remember boosting friends over walls and things growing up. Okay. I'm fine. Nobody's giving me a second look. And the client? I'll check. He'll be fine. An angel with a devil's tail. Your best guess is it has some religious or political significance. Uh, to the grid-like streets of Lower Manhattan, a warm movie poster. Troll games. I remember this film. It's a classic. It hasn't come out in your win yet, so don't spoil it for anyone. <laughs> I was a kid, Noz. I imagine it's chrono shifted into an entirely different movie by now. Uh, a primitive call to arms, and there's there's another. Oh, looks there's a bus stop here. That's pretty cool. Oh, a weather-worn rag. Can we get that? Nuzzo, what's the timeline importance ranking of this old rag? I think it's safe to assume quite low. Hmm. Let's test that, shall we? Yeah, we'll see. Right, we've got the rag now. So, any ripples? No fear, the timeline did not change because you picked up a rag. If there are any ripples to be concerned about, I'll ping you. So feel free to grab as much trash off the street as you want. <laughs> You're too good to me, Noz. I know. So that's interesting. So I wonder if there is a mechanic in this game that if you pick things up or change things too much in the past, whether it will have an effect in the future. We'll have to bear that in mind. Can we take this? Troll gang. It has no, we can't. Kid. It's just, it's got sort of like the hand icon, so I wondered if we could, could do that. So the lock's here. Ooh, it's a combination lock. Worth a try, but no. So, I wonder if our tool will actually... Well, Nozo, you were right about the lock. I usually am. What do we do? We show the brass how resourceful we can be. Hurrah! The chance to prove ourselves. Again. Hmm. Does the historical record still contain an archive of old lock combinations? It contains an archive of just about anything. You just need the brand name. Oh, cool! Click the notes button to access the archive. Oh, that's really nice. So it's a uh, Rastar? R-A star? Oh, look at this! No results found for for Joseph. What about Anderson? No. Rasta. Ho 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 ho. 
Rastarlox were the most popular brand of combination padlock from 1992 to 2043. Rastarlock combination padlocks were typically found secure in lockers, bicycles, and gates, and many other security applications. The manufacturing of these locks was phased out in 2042 when DNA encoded clamps became commonplace. Timeline importance, moderate. Alright, lost combination FAQ. To receive a combination to a standard dial lock from a model predating 2032, please provide the serial number found on the back of the lock and make a request to the JPO head office. You'll receive response within four to six weeks. No, thank you. If you require high uh, immediate assistance and your security clearance is level C or high, you may submit the serial number below. Okay, so we need to put the serial number in. Right. Nice. I like this mechanic. This is cool. Uh, so, can we like flip it over? Yeah, turn lock over. Oh, oh brilliant. Nothing's ever easy, is it? <laughs> brilliant. Uh, do nothing. Can we. Ah, can we use the rag to clean it? It's too dry to be of any use. Right, so we need some sort of fluid. I don't suppose we It's could... locked with a combination, not with a key. The multi tool won't do much good. Yeah, so I wondered if we could perhaps like, scratch it. The multi um, so we need some sort of liquid then. Uh, no puddles. Nice day for a stroll. True, but wandering without a destination is against protocol. I should call Nozo and see if he has any ideas. Ah, so we actually need to get a destination. Again, Nozo. that's pretty cool. Yeah, for you. Um, I, okay. Interesting. We got various things. Tell me about the client. Could you tell me about this client again? Joe Anderson, 64. He pioneered all the latest advances in robotic and laser surgeries. He's the reason why the average life expectancy is over 100 years old now. Ah, so his timeline importance ranking is high. One of the highest. Huh. The diner. So, where is this diner? A few blocks west of your landing point. You can't miss it. Oh, new location. Silver Flare Diner. Okay, so I guess we can probably go there now. Let's ask about the combination. How do I access that archive of old lock combinations again? Just use the historical archive here. All you need is the brand name. Yeah, so we knew that already. Oh, okay, so that just reinforces okay. the point. Yep, yeah. Which is quite good, because if you forget or you missed it, you can do it again. I can't read the serial number. Rust has completely covered the serial number. Ah, problem. Do you have anything to clean it with? I'll try and find something. We do actually, we have that cloth that you mocked earlier on. Stand by, Nozo. I'll be here. So maybe we can go to the diner and get some fluid from there. Nozo, you're keeping an eye on Dr. Anderson, yeah? This is cool. I'm monitoring him through his PFE. He's fine, for now. But I don't think the press will like that you're leaving him alone. Probably, but they'll like refunding his deposit even less. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Money talks. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Update me when you can. Nice! So we've got all of these... This, like, street walking mechanic, which is cool. And I guess you could probably leave it on here? But let's click the diner, and we'll head over to there. Okay, no standing any time. A groaning AC unit drips lubricant onto the sidewalk. Uh -huh. Not with my bare hands, I'm not. Interesting. So, can we get some of that? Yep. No, it's all mucky. Ugh. That's Even fine. My suit is self cleaning. It's fine. Uh, an empty cardboard box. Anything in? Well, I was going to say anything in the cardboard. The empty cardboard box. No Tyrion, there is not. That's why it's empty. All right, let's head back. Uh, landing point. And we'll see if this works. Let's uh, turn it over. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! You getting this, Nozo? I got it for you. Perfect. So, RLS332. Okay. RLS332. I wonder if we'll have to remember that or if we can. No, it's there. Nice. Perfect. I need to connect to the Rastar database first. Right, so we go on to the database. Uh, right, so where do we input that one here? Remember right? the serial number, Nozo? Yeah, I remember. Ah, oh, nice, it does remember it. Cool, 32424. 
Thirty-four, twenty-four. Thirty-four, twenty-four. Uh, thir so, oh, okay. We don't have to turn it. We can oh, just click it. Hey, you did it. That I did. Of course we did. Wow, you're really here. It's just like I remember. The air even smells. <sighs> you all right? I'm, I'm fine. Maybe giving you that boost took more out of me than I thought. <laughs> don't worry. Everyone gets a bit wobbly on their first jump. That's why we told you to eat bland food before you came. Oh, yeah, I didn't eat anything at all. Oh. I want to be hungry. That's the whole point, isn't it? Speaking of, can we get going? Uh, about the silver flare. So, about this silver flare. My mouth is already watering. God, I miss that place. I practically lived there back in the day. Or rather, this day. Uh, the food was that good? The food was that good. You've never had a better burger. Made it with real beef, not that chemically flavored TVP stuff we have now. Hey, you want to try one? I never ate there alone before. No reason to start now. Just an FYI, the Silver Flare is four months away from getting a D rating from the Board of Health. Oops. It serves more rats than people. <laughs> uh, I'll pass. Thanks. So it seems it's like this guy is maybe paid to come back and eat in his favorite diner or something from the past. Uh, live there? So you went there often, huh? Three words. Student lunch specials. Kept me fueled almost my entire sophomore year. <laughs> God, can you imagine what my cholesterol levels were back then? They're bad enough now. But back then, it didn't matter. Metabolism like a pencil sharpener. That was me. <laughs> Alright, about the area. You said you lived in this area. Well, I was a student in the area for five years. Sort of the same thing. Biochemical engineering, wasn't it? You've done your research. Yeah, I owe a lot to the place. Alright. To the silver flare, then. My growling stomach says yes. <laughs> All right then, guys. Well, this is absolutely fantastic. I am absolutely loving this. I'm going to play more of it off camera, but I'm going to leave it there for the video. So I want you to go over to Steam. I'll leave a link in the description down below the video so you can find and play the demo for yourself. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll be available after Steam Next Fest ends, so I would advise going and downloading it and playing it now if you can. Give it a try. See what you think. Let me know once you've played it as well, what you think of it. You can reach me on Twitter or YouTube. Um, yeah, however you want to do that. Let me know what you think. I'm really enjoying this. I hope you do too. And that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you very much to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle and Barry Aldridge for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>